guys and welcome back to my channel and yeah this is video number four of me in the same outfit because it's the same day so looks like this whole week's worth of videos is all gonna be me wearing this kitty say hi see I just got back from the vet and I got two shots two shots and some blood drawn but everything came back good and I am healthy and I'm just a big boy that kept calling him um, a hoss just because he's so big. He's 14.5 pounds. And I was like, is he overweight? And they're like, no, he's just a really big muscular cat. He's just, he's not a big baby. So, this video is a review on the e.l.f. brush shampoo. Oh, and for the record, if you guys have been watching my other couple of videos, that cat hair in my mouth. Um... If you've seen my other videos for today, Oliver, my other cat, he was just fine as well. He's perfectly healthy. Um, turns out he's going to be a small guy. That said, he's about done growing. And if I knew where he was at, I would show him to you. Um, but he has really big feet, so I figured he'd grow to be a really big cat like Banjo. But uh, that said, no, he's you know eight months old. He's about done growing. He won't get much bigger. And he's only 7.5 pounds. He's half a banjo. And he's not nearly as long. He's like like that long. Um, but when I got him, he was extremely emaciated, really underweight. Um, that said, he should have been 2 pounds for his age, which he was 2 months old. Um, and he was only a little over half a pound. He was really tiny. So the vet we've seen today, which is our normal vet, said that uh, sometimes when it happens when they're kittens, it can stunt their growth. So that might be why he has massive paws and he's just really tiny. He's not going to get any bigger because of what happened when he was a little baby. So, but he's healthy now. He's up to date on everything. Got his boosters and all that good stuff. So they're both good to go. And that's awesome. And they don't have to go back to the bed again until like next year, I think. So that's great. <laughs> Anyways, on to this review. We're already two minutes in. Two minutes in, and all I've talked about is my cats because I'm like crazy cat lady. So review on the Elf um, brush shampoo. I've never used this stuff before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, directions: Cleanse brush regularly by massaging a small amount of the shampoo with water and working it through the bristles from the base of the brush outward. Rinse thoroughly and uh, gently squeeze out excess. Okay, so we need to mosey on over to the sink to try this out. So, I'll see you over there. Since we just happen to have a stack of my husband's grandmother's china sitting right here, we'll just go ahead and use that for doing all of this. So, every other time I've cleaned my brushes using um, dish soap, I've just taken a little bit of the soap and put it on a plate. It just comes out just like a soap, very gel like. There's like no smell on this. It's like completely odorless. There's like a small amount of the gel. Then I'll add a little bit of water. It's probably a little too much water. And then we'll just take our dirty brush. This is supposed to be all white bristles at the end, but I use it for highlighting. So it's got like all this powder there. And then we just start swirling it around. And if it works like the dish soap, which it seems to. Um, all of the makeup will start to come out. So we can see this is all starting to go a bit tan. So I'm going to say that this stuff works. But it's like $6 for a bottle of it. Granted, this is supposed to like condition your brushes. Um... Dish soap works just as well, so if you can maybe get some, I think it's like palm olive dish soap that has like moisturizer in it for your hands. If you could get a bottle of that, I think you can get that for 2 to $4. I would probably go that route and save your money versus spending $6 on a thing of brush cleaner from e.l.f. or anybody else unless you can just get it cheaper. Um, I only bought this because I thought... That it was like a spray that you spritzed your, br spritzed your brushes with and then like 
rub them off or something. Something to like kind of clean them in between uses. I didn't realize it was something for a deep clean and that's what I get for not reading instructions. So go ahead and rinse this off and see how it all worked out. I do got to give this credit though for the fact that the soap comes out a lot easier than dish soap. Dish soap, like, you'd be scrubbing and scrubbing the soap out of your bristles for, like, forever. At least it feels like forever. And this stuff came out really pretty quickly. Yeah, there's not even any soap left in this. Not really. I don't think so. So... I need to go get a towel for drying. If this is your first time washing your um, makeup brushes or like seeing somebody wash makeup brushes, um, just a good tip, piece of advice to have. You want to keep your brushes, the bristles facing downward. You don't want them getting up in here inside the cylinder. I don't remember what the cylinder is called exactly. You can see all this right here. Um, you've got like your brush glue up in here. And if you get water up there, it'll loosen your bristles and it'll make your brushes fall apart. So you just need to make sure that your brushes stay at like an angle. We'll just prop that up over there. And I'm going to try it one more time with a little bit of a dirtier brush. Which one has the soap? This one has soap on it. <clears throat> so I've got an eyebrow brush here. Not eyebrow brush. Eyeshadow brush. And it's got like a bunch of pink powder here at the ends and stuff. So this might be a little more visible. See everything come out. It might get like really colorful. Yeah. Look at all that. I'm getting all that to come out. So this stuff clearly works. Uh, definitely if you're like one of those people that has to have like specific products for things. Like if you have to have you know, a brush cleaner for your brushes. You can't do the dish soap. I would definitely suggest this. It it clearly works. And see now. The uh, sibling brush is back to white tips, and the eyeshadow brush is back to little brown tips. So, it was clean on the inside. Not bad. Okay, so my uh, final thoughts on this product. Ooh, sorry about that glare. Thankfully, we're not doing makeup, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but my final thoughts on this product is that it works really well. Um, there's no smell, which is nice. I like that it will moisturize your brushes. But like I was saying while um, testing this out is, you know, you can get like a palm olive dish soap that has moisturizer in it for like four bucks. Save yourself the extra two. End up with a much bigger jar, you know, of soap. And you're going to get the exact same results. So does this work? Yes. Would I recommend buying it? No. And that's only because of the pricing. Knowing that you can get an alternative item that works just as well for $2 less. So, if you can get this on sale, like clearance or something, go for it. Like, if you can get it for a couple of bucks, go for it. But, um, like I said, if you can get the dish soap with the moisturizer in it for your, like, hands and such cheaper, I would go that route. I've been washing my brushes with dish soap for like the past two years and I haven't had a single problem with any of them except for one the first time I washed it and I got water inside the bristle thing like I was talking about and the brush fell apart um but that was my fault that was an error on me that had nothing to do with the soap I used so again it works really well um, and it is, like, it comes out of the brushes easier. Like, if you want something that's going to clean your brushes a lot more quickly than dish soap, dish soap, you're going to be, like, scrubbing the soap out of your brushes for a while. Like, it's going to take a little bit of time. 
Um, this stuff came right out. So on that factor, I gotta give it that. It's a time saver is the fact that it, like, you know, comes out of your brushes more quickly. Um, but if you got the, the time to do it with dish soap, which doesn't really take that much extra time, just a little bit more to get the soap out, I would go that route. It's just cheaper. So that's that for this video. Um, leave me any comments down below. Let me know what you think, any questions. I love hearing from you guys, and I will respond. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, give this a, a big like if you liked it, and subscribe if you really liked it. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.